In this podcast, we're going to talk about some approximations we can use um, when we're solving equilibrium problems that will help simplify the algebra for us and can get us to a pretty fair answer. So if k is very small, so we're talking about, you know, times 10 to the negative something, we can assume that the change in x is going to be negligible compared to the initial concentration of the substances. So what this means is we can use, um, this can be used to cancel out when adding or subtracting from a normal size number in order to simplify the algebra. So you see here you have an example k and you have 1 minus 2x and then the whole thing is squared. Well, to solve this, we would have to do x squared times x squared, and then on top we'd have an x cubed. So we'd be trying to solve cube root equations, which would require um, calculus. So that's probably not the best way to go for most, um, most people. So basically, if you have 1 minus something x and you have a very small k, you can just cancel out the whatever x and you'll just be stuck with 1 squared. Okay, so it's just a way to simplify. Alright, so here is the very last uh, equilibrium example I'm going to give you. So you see k is 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth, so very small. And we are given three different um, equilibrium um, situations and asked to determine the uh, concentrations of all species once we get to equilibrium. So we're going to start with the very first one. So we have two moles of NOCl in a two liter flask. So two moles and two liters would just give us one um, one molar or one molarity, okay? So just going to be one for that, okay? And then we our NO and our Cl2 are starting at zero. So we're going to have to make some of these. So we know this is going to be plus 2x, this is going to be plus x, and this is going to be minus 2x. So that gives us at equilibrium 1 minus 2x, 2x, and x, okay? All right, so now we need to plug that into um, our equilibrium equation that we have. Okay, so we have um, Cl2 and NO in our products and NO was had a 2 in front so we raise it to the second and then we had NOCl in the reactants and there was a 2 in front of it so it's raised to the second. So now we're going to plug in these um, values. Okay, so for Cl we had X and for NO, we had 2x, and then that was squared, okay? So we're already looking at a cube root on the top. And then for the NOCL, we had 1 minus 2x, okay? So we're looking at a very difficult problem to solve. So we can, because k is so small, we can approximate that we can just cancel this out, and we'd be left with 2 well, I actually, that's wrong. All right, 2 squared would be 4x cubed. Yep, I can do math, I swear. Just having a little issue right now. <laughs> that's 4x cubed, okay? It's a 3. And then on the bottom, we have 1 squared, which is just 1. So you're left with k, which was 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth, is equal to... 4x cubed, okay, divide by 4, and you get uh, 4 times 10 to the negative 6 is equal to x cubed, which gives you, then if you take the cube root of that, you get 1.587 times 10 to the negative second is equal to x, okay, so that is a very small change. Then we need to go back and we need to plug them in to get our equilibrium concentrations, okay? So we have 1 minus 2 times um, 1.58 times 10 to the negative second, okay, which is very small, but we end up with 0.9683. All right, and then we have 2 times 1.587 times 10 to the negative second, and we get 0.03174, and then this one is just x itself, which is 0 0.01587. Okay, so there are our equilibrium concentrations. All right, now let's look at the next situation.
All right, the next situa uh, situation we have one mole NOCL and one mole NO in a one liter flask. Okay, so we're starting with one molar of this and one molar of this and zero of this. Okay, so we are going to have to make some more um, products because we have no CL. So this is going to be minus 2x. It's going to be plus 2x. And this is going to be plus x. So our equilibriums will be 1 plus 2x there, just x there, and then 1 minus 2x there. Again, we will set up our um, equilibrium. Okay, so we had ooh, Cl2 and NO to the second, and then we had the NOCl to the second as well. All right, so our Cl2 was x, and then our NO2 was 1 plus 2x, and that would, of course, be squared. So we're, again, looking at a cube root on top and then 1 minus 2x squared down there, okay? Again, because k is small, we can approximate, so we can just cancel those out. That would give us x on top and 1 on the bottom. So this one happens to simplify down real easy, and we're just equal to x, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. So now we can just go plug in um, 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth and up here, and we get 0.999968, so very close to 1, and 1.000032, and x itself, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, and the last one we have is 2 moles of NL, uh, NO, this should be NOCL, sorry, and one mole of Cl2 in the flask. Okay, so we have two moles, so two molarity because we're in a one liter flask, and then one molar of this. All right, so we know we got to make more of this. So this will be minus 2x. This would be started at 0, plus 2x, and then this would be plus x. Okay, so we have 2 minus 2x, 2x, and 1 plus x. Okay, all right, so now what we can do is set up our equation. So we got Cl2, we got NO to the second, and we got NOCl to the second, and that's all equal to our k. So we have 1 plus x, and then we have 2x squared, and then on the bottom we have 2 minus 2x squared. Okay, all right, so we can cancel our um, 2x and our x there because k is so small, so we'd be left with 4x squared on top, and then on bottom we'd be left with 4. So that just reduces us down to x squared is equal to k, and k is 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth, so that means our x is 0 .004, or 4 times 10 to the negative third. All right, so then we go plug in our 0 .004 up here, and we get 1.992, 0 .008, and 1.004. Okay? Alrighty then. Alright, so what happens when you reach equilibrium? Forward and reverse reaction rates are the same. Q and K are the same thing. The reactant and product molecules are both present, and the concentration of all the species remains constant over time.